What's going on guys? Your boy Terror by Reacts here back with another Vikings reaction as I set this up real quick. We're here with season what? Season 2 <laughs> episode 7. Sorry about that guys. I'm a little off. Anyways, man, it's been a great experience so far with this with this series, man. Last episode I deemed to be the best I've seen so far. And um, according to you guys, it gets even better. So I'm looking forward to it. So I'm hyped. I'm ready to go. Don't have much to say except hopefully I get to see my girl this um, this episode, of course, to see what the aftermath is. If they if she's gonna be now the new Yarl of wherever she is. Um, I'm glad that she killed that guy. And of course, I want to see the aftermath of what's gonna happen with. Y'all Borg as in the promise by Ragnar. Cause it was like, cause the whole time I was watching that episode, I was like, is he really gonna let this nigga slide with all of this? It's no way. It just doesn't seem right. Like, it just doesn't seem right. Okay, so we're gonna jump into this episode, man. And let's just go. Not a long intro here, cause I've been waiting a long time to watch this episode from last week. Um, if you guys don't know, I wasn't feeling well. Had a really bad toothache. And if you were over on the Discord, thank you guys for all the love you thrown back at me and also all the comments that have been coming at me since then. You guys are awesome, man, and thank you guys for caring. And as always, man, we're going to jump into this episode and see what they're all about in this episode 7 of season 2. So let's just go do it, and I will see you guys back here for the review. I've been trying to do my thing in the intro to ask you like my call to actions which is to ask you guys to like the video and comments during the intro instead of doing it at the end of the video so guys like the video you know the reaction is going to be fire you know okay you know this is not a front we don't do that stuff over here okay so we we do it right and correct we analyze correct over here so show your boy some love and i will see you guys right back here for the review All right, so here we go, man. One of the most, I have to say, uh, that episode was good on so many levels. I still don't, I, I, I'm still trying to figure out why did, is it because Lagertha show, showed up? Is it because she, she showed up? Is it because she showed up? Why they decided not to free him? Was it a joke? Was it actually a joke like Floki said? Was it, were they just doing it as a joke? Were they actually going, did they give him false hope? Was that it? Or it's because Lagatha showed, showed up? I, I don't know. I don't care if I butcher her name. I, I really don't anymore. I, I, I love her. <laughs> I've literally have the biggest crush on this woman right now. I don't know. I'll probably never ever meet her in real life. <laughs> like seriously, man. Absolute beauty, man. She is she is my boo for Vikings, okay? Don't don't hate me for it. I mean, I never I don't have a crush on any of the women from from Game of Thrones. Um it was just Rome. Rome, it was Atia, and now and, and in Viking, it's Lagertha. So I never had a crush on any of the women in Game of Thrones. Like not to this level where I always want to see them. Like I, like I want to see her in every episode now. She needs to be in every episode. I hope the History Channel is hearing me. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. So what took place in this episode, man, was pretty epic just leading up to what happened at the end with them executing um y'all borg the blood eagle that shit is ridiculous okay dude <sighs> bro that that was nuts but in any case i understand why it had to be done you know he angered the gods um, what he did was just so wrong, man, and, and, 
I, I don't want to say he deserved that. <laughs> I don't. I really don't want to say he deserved that much of a punishment because I'm all into like if you're gonna kill somebody, you don't let them suffer. So you know what I mean? Like I'm, you know, like that's suffering. It's complete. That that's suffering, and it it, it shouldn't be. But talking about, you know, I had a feeling. You know, the minute the dude came in and he was like, oh, because remember in the intro I was saying that, um, that Lagertha should be Earl, like, if, if she's going to be Earl or not, you know, now that she's killed Earl, are they going to respect her enough for her to lead now? And that's exactly what happened, so I'm happy for that. Um, the plot, the twist that is going, I'm glad that Rolo found out that Siggy is sleeping with King Horik. And you know the always excuses. I'm doing it for you. I hope Rolo don't fall for that shit no more. Um, so I'm I'm definitely looking forward to the to the stuff that is that is gonna come up towards you know the end of the season or whatever because I'm still I still don't like King Horik. I don't like these backhanded stuff that he be doing. Um, I don't know if I don't know. I, I still don't don't trust this move. Even though I saw this this ritual happen, I, it kind of feels like it didn't happen because, as I said, man, I don't know if it was a if, if they were just joking around with him. You know, did they replace him with someone that looks like him? I I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little confused because it, there's a bit of a something missing in the timeline there. Like nothing was really disgust that caused me to think that they changed their mind or anything like that so it was kind of like now it's just kind of left up in the ear for us to kind of figure out what made them change their mind you know what i'm saying was it because like they they got the new earl and the reinforcements was was that it you know what i'm saying wasn't explicitly explained so you know I don't know what happened, but I'm maybe next episode some explanation is there, so I'm looking forward to it. But anyways, man, um, whew, what else happened in this episode that was cool? Floki's wedding, Ragnar not being there, that was very surprising to me. Floki is Ragnar's best friend. He is. So for him to actually think like that about Ragnar, I'm wondering that if they're misleading us in some way for the plot or something is going to happen in the future between these two. I don't know because him saying that Ragnar basically owns the world and everything kind of revolves around him. Um, so I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't need his permission to get married. That, that's fine and all dandy, but still, that's still your your best friend even if you don't need his permission or you know approval to get married or whatever nobody should you know what i'm saying but at the same time it's like are they gonna have a falling out is is this still about the jealousy because you know he was kind of looking out for athelstan and they kind of became close maybe he's jealous because he's not you know because ragnar is not as concerned about him as he was concerned about Athelstan. So maybe he feels some sort of way about that. Who knows? Um, the situation that's going on over there with King Edbert and Ailey, um, them united their families so they can go take out, what's the name of that place? Mer whatever. The neighbor country that, you know, that's in turmoil because the king died and now, you know, the ears are fighting over the throne. Um, so they want to go take over over there and split it. So they decided to join alliance by, you know, my son marry your daughter, you know. So something like that of the sort. So it's just to me, it's just in a certain aspect of certain things. It's just crazy to me. Of what's really going on over there. It, it, you know what I'm saying? Like they're they're trying to prepare for if Ragnar comes back, 
because I know he will come back because you know he's they're going over there they're going to raid again so they're definitely going to have more forces to go against Ragnar because now he's gotten a hundred men to go how many do they have we don't know but definitely it I'm wondering if King Edbert I'm wondering if he's playing Athelstan you know I don't feel like he's being genuine with him and if he is why he just met the dude just because he can you know speak latin like that's not enough for you to trust somebody so quickly you get what i'm saying i think maybe he's keeping athelstan as a bargaining chip that's what i'm thinking I, I don't know i don't know i'm just spewing out you know predictions here here and there for, you know so i can wrap my head around this storyline that is is so good you know so thank you guys for watching as always man it's always great to have you guys watch this with me well not while i'm reacting to it but <laughs> but as in come and support the channel and have something to say about the reaction of course so i do really do appreciate you guys man that last scene of the episode was one of the most brutal things i've seen and it and they didn't even show it it's just the the mind man the the just the imagination you know of me visualizing what is happening even though they're not showing it it's so obvious by Ragnar's actions and how he played it which is was great acting by the way of him portraying what he talked about you get what I'm saying so that was brilliantly shot as I said if there is a uncensored version of that final scene I want to see it if they have it you get what I'm saying, like the overseas versions of the show or whatever the situation is, send me a link if there is a um, uncensored version of it, because that was definitely censored, and you get what I'm saying? So, I mean, I've seen some gruesome stuff, you know, in other shows, but this one just, it just went on for a very long time, and that's what makes it, makes it sunk in so, so much, you know? So, as I said, man, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm always here trying to put two and two together with these shows. I mean, great, great, great acting, man. It, they, re they really are stepping it up this season, and I'm here for it. As always, man, remember to like, remember to comment. Of course, subscribe if it's your first time watching me do a reaction. <sighs> man, Vikings is so good, and I got to see my girl. Thank you guys so much. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts.